Welcome back. So let's have another exercise. I'm going to ask you guys to make a completely new console application from scratch. And in there you're going to make an employee class, right? So you're going to build a new class just like we built the car. And that class is going to contain these properties. It's going to contain a name property of the type string, phone of the type string, email again string, salary level of the type int, department of the type string, and a weekly hours, work hours of type double. Now we didn't touch the double type yet, but it pretty much just means that you can start writing comma or digit numbers inside here if you want to. So you have to create these guys and you have to create this class. So that's the first exercise. The second one is to initialize an employee either use, using any of the constructor ideas that I gave you, either creating a constructor, just setting them afterward, you've created an object or whatever, but you need to initialize an employee object with the new keyword. Something like this. Then you should print the employee's information like we did into a console. And I really want to use um, uh, using the string builder and or writing to string. There we go. Just to test those two as well. And then you should create a method on the employee. And this is kind of complex, but it should be a method that returns an int value. So let me just show you very briefly. If you wanted to create such a method for car, we could just make one uh, here called... Uh, accident, count, something like that. And then to return something, you'll just write int here, for instance, if it's a number you want back. And then all you have to do is just return some kind of value. And now I'll just return a hard code of value, but you could calculate some kind of value in here. So this is actually how you make a function that returns an integer value. So you need to do something like that to return um, what the salary level is times 700, right? So in this case, it'll probably be a double value, but You'll figure it out. And then you need to use this method. And this is kind of a tricky one where you start using some if and else statements. You need to use this method to figure out if the value is above 2,000, you should print out your filthy rich. But if it's below 2,000, you should talk to the boss. You need more money, right? So you need to use an if statement here. So complete these five exercises, and I'll make a video for each of them. Good luck doing these. Try to get them done before you come back and visit my ne next video, please. See you next time.